The Syrian government confirmed its participation in the next round of Geneva peace talks set to take place Monday. While radical factions are thought to be gaining momentum in the war, Islamists are thought to have recruited tens of thousands of foreigners, potentially causing an intelligence headache back in their homelands. Artiste Tessar Silia reports from London. A British jihad is known as Abu Sulaiman al Britani is believed to be the first Briton to have carried out a suicide attack in Syria after a vehicle packed with explosives was taken to a prison, allowing some 300 prisoners to escape. Now, British citizens, along with other Europeans uh, traveling to Syria, some as young as 16 and fighting alongside jihadist groups, have long been a concern for authorities. It's believed now that there are about 350 Britons over there, making up the largest contingent of some 1,000 Westerners. And this new development reinforces the urgency expressed by governments here in having to deal with a specific group of jihadists carrying their country's passport. It's significant in the fact that the information has finally come out that we're seeing this actually happen in Syria. However, given the trends that we've seen in Syria over the past few years, it's not surprising that we're seeing British individuals or foreign individuals more generally becoming involved in suicide operations on the ground. I think if we compare this particular conflict in Syria with the other jihadi battlefields that we've seen around the world. Uh, certainly the rapidity with which we've seen the large numbers of foreigners being drawn to the battlefield is, from my perspective, unprecedented. The numbers certainly that we're, being, that we're hearing quoted about are new for British intelligence and it presents a very difficult picture for them to manage. In sounding the alarm over this phenomenon, authorities are increasingly worried about what happens when these individuals return home. Now, a group of Britons have already threatened to carry out terrorist attacks in the UK and this is believed to be the first direct threats to come out of Syria. Reporting from London, I'm Tessa Arcelia.